In this video, I want to show you three Roto AI hacks for Final Cut Pro 10. So if you guys go onto my website, I have the Surge FX Liquid Explosion plugin, but go ahead and check it out if you guys want instant liquid explosion effects. All right, so to create this effect, you do need to install the plugin. So once you've downloaded the plugin, you're gonna go over to this folder here, and then you're gonna have all of your files. You're gonna have the guide. So you're gonna right click on those and go to copy. And then you're going to go to go at the top and go to either go to folder and then you're going to go to this path movies slash motion templates slash titles you're going to add the folder just right click and go to paste so once you have that installed go over to the titles and generators under titles you're going to go to the ktp surge effects preset here and they're going to have your three liquid explosion presets so they're just ready to go you just drag and drop them in the timeline so i'm going to drag the surge effects liquid explosion reverse and just drag and drop, trim it to the length of your clip or however long you want the effect to last, and you're done. That's all you have to do, just push play. Now, there is another way if you select and trim the end because of the reverse side, so we wanna trim the end on this piece, it's going to go faster and it adjusts the speed accordingly. If you select the title and go over to the inspector window, you will have a bunch of settings here. So you have the color on and off, which allows you to adjust the color shift so you can shift the colors. You have color shift strength, so this increases the color. You have brightness, so you can increase the brightness, and all of these have keyframes for your liking, so you can really customize this however you want. You then have pink and yellow, so this will change the liquid from the regular color to a pink or a yellow. What I wanna do is just make the mask effect only the artist, I should say. So we're gonna disable this by pressing V. We're gonna select our main clip and hold Option and drag it upwards. Now you have a copy to clip. Then you're gonna go over to the effects and add the M Roto AI by Motion VFX. Link is in the description if you want to get a coupon for this. So this is a separate plugin to this, but it works kind of hand in hand really. So we're gonna drag the M Roto AI onto our clip and then you're gonna to go to the beginning, go to tracker, okay? Before you hit tracker, we're gonna first draw our subject. So you can start it at the beginning and go forwards or start it at the end and track backwards. So I'm gonna start at the end and track backwards. So I'm gonna click and drag to paint over our subject. And it does a fantastic job of really selecting our subject of what we wanna mask out. Then once anything is in blue and you're happy with your selection, you can see I already have one here. I'm just gonna delete that one. I'm gonna go to Embroido AI. I'm gonna click on tracker and I'm gonna track backwards and a new window will appear showing you what is being tracked and there's 59 keyframes being tracked right now. So let it do its thing, it's almost done and it's finished so you can see it did a really good job. We're gonna go over to output and change it from merge to masked video. So now if I disable this bottom clip, you're gonna see what it looks like. So now we can adjust the settings here. So we're gonna expand this outwards or inwards. I'm gonna go inwards so we don't see that kind of lion edge on the outline and blur just kind of creates a nice feather. So I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna re-enable the clip and I'm gonna re-enable our liquid explosion effects. Now I'm gonna select these two top clips and there's two different ways you can go about this. You can either do it this way. So if you select both of those and you right click and go to new compounds clip, I'm gonna name this subject and press okay and then go back and push play. So now only these, the area that we masked is going to apply the liquid explosion effect. Now, let's say you wanted to have our subject in front of this with the liquid explosion. All you have to do is double click on this, copy this clip here, press Command C, go back and go to the beginning and press Command V to paste it. You might have to shift some clips around, but move the clip above. And now our clip will be above. Of course, we didn't mask <laughs> this bottom area, but you guys get the idea. That is the effect. And then the second one is doing the same thing, but for the glasses, honestly, it's just the same exact process. What you would do is here's the main clip with nothing applied. What you want to do is just do the same thing we did for the first clip. So hold option and just drag upwards. And then you're going to select the second clip and add the M Roto onto that clip. And then anything in your video that you want to mask out. In this case, I'm going to select your sunglasses, even though it's a little bit kind of see-through, the plugin still does a really good job of selecting it. So I'm going to kind of select it here. And if you hold option, by the way, you can deselect parts of the clip. So now I'm gonna go back to tracker. I'm gonna track forwards because our playhead is at the beginning and it finished. So you can see it did a really good job of tracking your sunglasses. And I'm then gonna change the output to masked video so we can see our clip. 
So here's the sunglasses of what we have selected, which is this clip here. Now what we're gonna do is just do the same thing. We're gonna go over to the, I'm gonna go with the first one. So I wanna kind of ease into the liquid explosion effect. So I'm gonna click and drag that and just drop into the timeline. Trim it to the length that you want. Press Command B and delete the rest. Push play. It's gonna apply it like that. But again, we only wanna apply it to the sunglasses. So select, you know, both the clip and the plugin. Right click and go to new compounds clip. I'm gonna name this uh, glasses and click OK. And now only the glasses is being affected. And then you could of course add like a you know like a fade out or a transition towards the end. So you can just go to transitions, go to blur or dissolves. Add a cross dissolve to it and then just delete the beginning part. So now we'll kind of fade out a little bit. Maybe trimming this a little bit like that. And then the last one is the kind of falling grill. So hold option and duplicate it again. So option drag upwards, then go back to the M Roto in the effects, add it to your clip. And this looks pretty good, I think. And I'm gonna track forwards and it's gonna track in real time. So this is literally taking less than 10 seconds, I'd say, and we're done. So now it just tracks the grill and we're gonna change the output to mass video. So this is the first part. So if I disable the bottom clip, you can see it selected only the grill. Now we gotta make this part black. So it kind of, it's almost like a, like there's nothing there really. Hold option and drag upwards one more time to duplicate that mask one once again. So. Disable this one by pressing V, select the second clip and go over to the color inspector tab, go to exposure and bring the global all the way down so that it turns the clip black. And then enable the top clip, which is the mask. Okay, now you can see a little bit of the black line. You can fix that just by going over to the, the settings for the mask and change shrink and expand. I'm gonna bring the shrink expand out so that it hides that black edge and then maybe increasing the blurs to kind of feather that out a little bit. So now we have this going on. So now we're gonna go to the beginning. I'm gonna go to transform and I'm gonna go to Y because that controls up and down. And I'm gonna drag this kind of out of the frame and I'm gonna zoom out to maybe 25% so you can kind of see this. If you don't have that, just enable this here. And then we're gonna rotate this as well. So we're gonna start this kind of like slanted so once you're happy with the position of where you want it to start here, I'm going to maybe start it a few seconds in like right here. And then I'm going to start it there and then I'm going to have it end about maybe here. And once you're happy with that, just type in zero for position and zero for rotation. So now it kind of just falls like this and that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna click on done and we want to add some type of blur so it looks a little more smooth. So go over to blur in the effects and add a directional blur to this one. And we're gonna start this off, I mean, pretty fast. So kind of like this. Keep in mind, the more you drag it, the more it's gonna kind of be blurry, obviously. So, I mean, if it's going in really fast, it might make sense to increase the speed or the blur. So I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna start it around here. This is where I want it to actually end. So I'm gonna add, just before it ends, I'm gonna add a keyframe next to amount. And then I'm gonna skip a couple frames till it actually ends, which is right here. And then bring the amount all the way to zero. And then you have that super sick falling grill effect. Again, you don't have to do this for a mouthpiece. It could be maybe a, a wheel on a car or maybe a car badge logo, or maybe someone's hat or a logo on their hat that could work too. Uh, just throwing ideas out there. And then once it stops, which is about here, we don't need the rest of this clip, so we can just trim it so that it goes back to the original clip. It's that simple. Honestly, the star of the show is really the liquid explosion effect because you can get really creative with this along with the Roto plugin for Motion VFX, which is, again, a completely separate plugin. But if you pair those two together, you can create something that looks amazing. So uh, these are three Roto AI hacks for Final Cut Pro 10. And if you guys found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time.